Thank you so much. I appreciate your intro, intro, introduction. For I'm very honored and very glad to uh, to attend this meeting and uh, to meet some friend, uh, not not only in China and other friends from Asia region. So today, oh okay, next slide. You okay? Next slides. So this is the first topic. So this topic title is banked. Frozen donor oocyte demonstrate high efficiency in the conversion to live birth infants, a uh, collaborative, uh, collaborative multiple site experience from Dr. Kru uh, from the US. Next slide. Next. Can I change the slide somewhere or, or here? Oh, wait, I got it. Oh, no. This study background and the aim. Background is previous studies have shown a less than a 7% all sites to live birth, live birth infant rate in the fresh donor all sites. But no report on the, on the, you know, the frozen all site. So according to our experience in the clinic, most uh, doctors believe the old site, the percentage has been used cause or bring the baby born should be lower than the fresh old site. But this study, so that one will fo focus on this question. There is a substantial room to improve in improvement to the, uh, in this study. So the aim of this study, the purpose of the, this study was to evaluate the efficiency of the cryopreservation donor oocyte compared to those fresh donor cycles. This, this is the uh, study material that I measured. This, is, this was a retrospective cohort study. The outcome of the all IVF cy cycles used the previous cry, cryopreserved donor oocyte from a single donor outside the bank, but this performed at the uh, uh, multiple centers to, to use this uh, frozen oocyte in uh, 19 IVF centers. Then they covered a full two years experienced. And the, compare the control group used to fresh donor oocyte cycles performed in one big IVF center. So this is not really matched, but they, they put together, they try to use big data to, com, to, to compare the, the, the outcome. So the outcome should include the cancellation number of the old site sort, number of the cryo uh, preserved supplementary embryos, clinical pregnancy rate, ongoing pregnancy rate, and the number of in, uh, infant born. Let's see the result. So this table show the uh, most of the parameters from a clinic. We can look at the number of the old site donor from a fresh cycle. It's very big. So that is why I can I was surprised that so so many eggs in one center in one year as a donor uh, is a donor eggs. It's a eight thousand six hundred. This is only 2012, in one year and one single site. This is a donor fresh old site, then followed by the IVF. Then this is multiple, this is two years they collected to, uh, the, the, from the same cryo bank, but uh, performed in the 19 uh, sites institute. The total old site, uh, uh, frozen old site is 3,881. And the, the saw survival rate after sowing it's very good, it's 86 percentage. Then uh, we can see the, the cycles with, uh, with uh, embryo transfer even higher than compared to the fresh oocyte. But they didn't, uh, the, okay. Then the ongoing pregnancy rate per cycle, uh, per, 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 per cycle. yeah, 
is per ET, uh, is 51, uh, 50, uh, 51 and 44 is higher than the uh, ongoing pregnancy is a little bit higher in the fresh donor IVF uh, cycles than the frozen, frozen oocyte. We see the, let's look to the bottom one. The bottom base is the infants per M2 oocyte, 11.7% 11 .7 and 12.4% uh, in the cryo cycle, cryo oocyte cycles. So in the, with the, even higher in the, in the cycles with the cryo preser preserved oocyte. So this is a very impressive data and a very big, uh, uh, big, big sample size. So, so let's, the, let's say a summary of the, the, the result. It's a big, big sample size. E 626 cycles use salt all sites were initiated with 93% continued rate. And the, here it shows the live birth, uh, live birth rate. Uh, but the table shows ongoing, maybe similar. Ongoing pregnancy rate per cycle was 51% in fresh donor IVF and 44 in thought and the yield to this big so many babies, so very impressive. But uh, they, unfortunately, they didn't see the significant uh, or not. They didn't put the significant statistic data here. And also the final, we can see the how to calculate the, the, the all site, the all sites application rate. I mean, the efficiency is uh, M2. So per M2, Oh, sword all side. Can, so can got the baby is 12 and the fresh is 11. So this is very uh, impressive. Even, you know, in my center, we do 100 uh, uh, quite preserved all side, but we cannot get so good data. So that means the all side, frozen the all side even at least not bad than the fresh old site. The exact the same, the same clinical result. So the conclusion is this study established the efficiency and the variability of the quiet preser preserved old site in the IVF cycle. Low old site numbers per lot did not negatively impact overall. Uh, outcomes. So the, for the clinical application are, this data demonstrated the suitability of the bank frozen uh, donor oocyte as measured by their high efficiency, converted to live birth infant in the collaborative multiple site assessment in the f further support a strong consideration of the oocyte cryo preservation as a safe and effective means to the uh, preserved fertility. Very good study, very good data. But for my own opinion, they still need to do something more to support this uh, final support. The first is uh, two group, the compare, this is uh, uh, res uh, res retrospective, not really match the group, they didn't show the age. The donor age, that means the egg is uh, from the uh, donors, the age. And another, they don't have very good, didn't show very good statistic there, uh, data. Uh, so this is my own opinion. Let's uh, move to the second. Second topic in uh, discussion, we will discuss the all-site cryopreservation use gametes retrieved by the age 42. It really works by Dr. Royes. Study background A, the, okay, let's uh, jump to the, the background. The 
Cryopreservation cryopreserva offers a partner numerous advantages over embryo cryopreservation, including the eliminating the need of the sperm source, uh, minimize the ethnic, uh, ethical issues surrounding the supplementary embryo creation, and allow the reproductive uh, autonomy. Also, it, use, it is very usefulness exchange the, the multitude of the indications, including the medical uh, conditions, requirement, for example, the uh, gonadotoxical and the therapy, such as the cancer as a supplement, and Chao will talk about the fertility preservation. They will do more research on that. And, but this is also the, at least the one uh, optimal way. Offset donation and the lack of the suitable partner or a life situation non-conductive to the, the parenting. Parent. So the aim of the study is to report the funding from the program that has been uh, cryopreserving all site since 2004 and now have uh, completed the more than 1,500 cycles. This is also very big uh, clinical study. The study material is also retrospective, single center study, review all the cryopreserved and thought cycles where gametes was frozen, the age younger than, the, including 45. This means younger than 42 years old. So the study covered a total of more than 10 years. Patients was excluded if they had uh, the other complications. So this table show the comparative euploidy and the pregnancy rate for the cryo was the fresh oocyte. We can see all the, the parameters show here, uh, so normal chromosome, and the implantation rate, clinical pregnancy rate, as well as the live birth rate, all the same, no different between the fresh IVF and the frozen, uh, from the old site, uh, fresh, fresh the old site or the frozen old site. And the next here, but show the decrease the plastic, plastic formation and the use, usable embryo rate for the cryopreservation was fresh. Here is a 55 compared to the, compared to the 66 if the fresh uh, o, o site. That uh, means the plastic uh, formation rate is lower than use the frozen O site. And also the usable plasticist rate, according to my understanding, is the high quality embryo or plasticist rate is lower than the, uh, is lower than the, the old site with the fresh, old, uh, the cycles with a fresh old site. So this uh, statistically significantly. So old site cryo provision is uh, associated with the successful pregnancy outcome in women up to the 42 years old. So this uh, the sa same trend it was the younger is better than the getting worse according to the advanced age. So the conclusion is offering cryoprovision as a fertility, cryo uh, fertility uh, preservation measure appears to be acceptable up to the age of the 42 years old, years. The accumulating safety and outcome data with uh, all-site cryopreservation substantiates its utility as a means to preserve or the prolong the, the female fertility. So the clinical implication, oh, the OC is provide itself to be valuable mean to the preserve the prolonged female fertility regardless the indication but the improvement successful need should move to more study. Let's continue move to the technique into the main, mainstream IRT. Okay, this is the third, third topic, hot topic. Outcomes 
fresh from a fresh IVF cycle or compared to uh, are compared to compared to the outside warm cycle in patients who choose to electively cryopreserve their own sites. This is from Dr. Lin. The study material, the method, this was uh, also was a, a, a retrospective data analysis derived from uh, October 2007 to the 2013, this is uh, to totally seven years. 114 patients chosen, this is from one center, okay, chosen to cry preserve a portion of their fresh retrieval oocyte to the, for the mm, ethical or moral reasons. 37 of those concern, con consented to oocyte cry preservation warming and the clinical and the labor, uh, uh, laboratory data from this 37 patients were analyzed and compared to the fresh cycle outcomes uh, of the sibling oocyte. So oocyte were vitrified and, and the sword used the uh, minimal uh, volume technique. All the dissemination was performed by ICSI. This is the material. So we can look at this uh, outcome Fries, every cycle was warming. So 37 to 37, the age is uh, almost matched, no, no different. And uh, the implantation rate, let's like move to the blast sister rate. Okay, because we need, why frozen? We need at least, at, we need whatever fresh, uh, whatever come from fresh or site or the or the, or the frozen oil site, we need high quality blast cyst. So blast cyst rate is very close to the clinical pregnancy rate. So we, we can look at here, fresh is 43%, then the frozen warming cycle is 49, even higher. Mm, uh, and. Uh, but the, the, aver the average embryo transfer number is higher in uh, frozen warming. The implantation rate is, uh, is in, a, in a warming cycle 25, and uh, the ongoing pregnancy is, is also is higher than the 45, but the, the sample size is not big enough for the statistic, I, I, I guess. Okay, but it didn't show the statistic significant here. So comparison be between the fresh and the uh, warming, so cryo and the warmed oocyte demonstrated the same, they have a similar fertilization rate, similar, oh, say they didn't, uh, they don't have uh, significant uh, differences. S similar plastic rate and the similar number of the transfer embryo, <coughs> even not statistically compared cry uh, cryopreserved and warmed oocyte trended to, to higher implantation rate and uh, clinical pregnancy rate, but no statistic differences. So for this conclusion, is the study demonstrated the elective oocyte cryopreservation reasons provides compar comparable results to fresh cycles uh, outcome, may be used as a alternative to embryo cry preservation. The clinical implication is this study provide evidence suggesting that all site cry preservation may be an appreciate alternative to embryo cry preservation. The funding support all site cry preservation as a good option when fertility uh, preservation th uh, through embryo cryopreservation is not consi considered an option. Very interesting study for, for this uh, special uh, group of the patient. So the last uh, topic uh, is uh, successful outcomes of fresh and frozen oven oxide among recipients using oral 
estradiol and the vaginal progesterone gel versus intramuscular and the vaginal progesterone. So study background is the, <coughs> the data will evaluate the uh, efficacy of a vaginal progesterone replacement in fresh and frozen IVF transfer of the recipient undergoing oocyte donation. So the aim of the study is the, to investigate uh, the, or to detect any differences in pregnancy rate between vagina, uh, vagina progesterone was compared to the IM, I mean the intramuscular injection, and the vagina progesterone among fresh and the frozen donor oocyte cycles among two separate uh, participate patient in a large regional ART center. So this is also the single center, RB proved, retrospective analysis is covered five years, 255 cycles from a subject less than 55 years of the age who were all site recipients in, <coughs> in, the, in the donor program. Now the recipients in this uh, data based on inclu include the, the uh, gestational uh, surro uh, surrogates and the cycle with the pre-implantation genetic screening. All site recipients from a fresh and a frozen cycle received or oral estradiol two uh, milligram of two, two times a day, daily in the stepped up the protocol followed by the vagina progesterone gel, uh, used the cranial 8%, 90 milligram twice a day for five days for blast transfer. So they used the, all the patients in the same protocol to prepare uh, before the transfer. The study of the material and the method, the comparative group of the fresh and the frozen donor uh, cycles look Oral estradiol in a similar fresh followed by the progesterone IM uh, 50 uh, milligram once a day for five days uh, priority transfer. Subsequently, the progesterone 200 vaginal capsule, uh, capsule in addition began the day of the transfer of the continued till, till the 10th ten, weeks Hence, we got pregnancy. Subject was monitored via ultrasound, the serum estradiol and the progesterone. The serum beta HCG and estradiol and the progesterone was, uh, were ob obtained 10 days after blast transfer. This is material and method. Uh, positive pregnancy rate and uh, clinical pregnancy rate. That's mean the biochemical pregnancy rate by HCG. Okay, we can see the, the data in this table demonstrated that the women with the prepared their endometrium with the vagina or air and progesterone during the fresh or frozen cycles did not significantly differ with the, regarding to the number of positive uh, uh, pregnancy tests. The same, no, no, no different uh, table sheet. And also similar outcome were observed with the respective to clinical pregnancy rate. And uh, this is also so different. No, <coughs> no, dif no any compared to no different with the two group with a different, this, this topic of discussion on how to prepare the endometrium and how to support the, uh, the, the progesterone, how to use the progesterone support after transfer. So the conclusion are preparing the endometrium with oral estradiol and the vaginal progesterone gel among recipients treated in the contemporary donor oocyte program is highly eff effective because uh, we can see this pregnancy rate is very high. Sorry, see, this is very high frozen with gel, the pregnancy rate 70, more higher than the 70, to see, uh, even some 79, 77, very, very good.
clinical uh, data. And uh, no, not significantly different with uh, utilizing oral estradiol with AM and vagina progesterone in fresh and for the embryo transfer. This is very clean uh, data. And so clinical implication of this study, uh, this data help clarify the role of the oral estradiol and the vagina progesterone gel compared to the oral estradiol with the IM and the vagina progesterone in fresh and the frozen embryo transfer. So let's summary. The four topics has been presented. So this is uh, the summary. I would like to show the summary. The first, this data demonstrated the suitability of the bank for the oocyte as uh, measured by their high efficiency uh, of the conversion to live birth infant in the collaborative multiple site assessment. In further support, strong consideration of the oocyte cryopreservation as a safe, effective uh, means to preserve fertility. The second topic demonstrated the oocyte is provide itself to be a valuable mean to preserve or prolong the female fertility regardless of indications. Improve the successful uh, success will continue to move this technique into the mainstream of the ART, I mean in the clinic mainstream. The third, uh, this study provides the evidence suggesting the oocyte collaboration may be an pre uh, appreciate uh, alternative to embryo cryopreservation. We know that we already use the embryo cryopreservation uh, widely and in almost all the, all the clinic of IVF. So this nice means almost equal to the embryo cryopreservation. This funding support all side cryopreservation as a good option when fertility preservation through embryo cryopreservation is not available. So the, the final topic, <coughs> last topic is this data help clarify the role of the oral estradiol and the vagina progesterone gel compared to the oral uh, uh, E2 with the IM and the vagina progesterone in fresh and the frozen embryo. That means uh, no different, the same, as good as the same as IM. That means because in the different cycles, they, they both they use progesterone, but they use different way. And also, they both use the issue dial uh, in the fresh and uh, frozen. They didn't show any difference with the different uh, prepare uh, preparation for the uh, for the endometrium. Also, this is my talk. <laughs>